The villagers lived in constant fear of the cat witch woman, for it was said that she had a particular fondness for stealing newborn babies from their cribs. Every full moon, when the night was darkest, she would shed her human skin and take on the form of a feline predator, creeping silently through the village in search of her next victim. In the days of old, when the island of Jamaica was still young and untamed, there lived a young woman named Aisha. Aisha was born under a rare alignment of stars, said to grant her extraordinary powers of magic. Growing up in a small village nestled in the heart of the mountains, Aisha was known for her beauty, her intelligence, and her gift for healing. One day, as Aisha was at home, immersed in the simple joys of cooking and singing, she suddenly heard a commotion outside. Intrigued, she rushed out to witness a disturbing scene, the villagers were in an uproar, accusing her of being evil. Among the enraged crowd, a woman stepped forward, pointing an accusing finger at Aisha. The woman claimed that Aisha had failed to help her only son, leading to his tragic death. Confused and shocked, Aisha questioned how she could be blamed for such a tragedy. The grieving mother accused Aisha's parents of lying, insisting she was at home when they sought her assistance. Aisha tearfully tried to explain that she was in the forest picking herbs during that time, but her pleas fell on deaf ears. Curses were hurled at her, and the villagers stormed away, leaving Aisha shattered and in tears. As a young girl, she couldn't comprehend why her own people would treat her with such cruelty. But as Aisha came of age, jealousy and envy began to fester in the hearts of those around her. Whispers of her power spread like wildfire through the village, and soon she found herself ostracized and feared by those who once revered her. Aisha's parents, Sarah and David, were a loving couple who shared a deep connection. Tragedy struck unexpectedly when they perished in a mysterious fire, and rumors circulated that the villagers, fearing Aisha's growing powers, might have orchestrated the unfortunate incident in an attempt to rid themselves of her presence. The loss of her parents under such ominous circumstances had a profound impact on Aisha's life. After the tragic death of Aisha's parents in the mysterious fire, the already challenging circumstances of her life took a darker turn. The loss further fueled Aisha's anger, leaving her emotionally battered and now entirely alone. The cruelty of the villagers, who had already been mocking her for her growing powers, intensified. Aisha found herself navigating a world filled with hostility, where whispers and jeers followed her every step. Alone and rejected, Aisha's heart grew cold, and she turned to darker magics in search of solace and revenge. Under the tutelage of a mysterious old woman rumored to be a witch herself, Aisha delved into forbidden rituals and incantations, seeking to harness the forces of the night. In her quest for power, she made a pact with a malevolent spirit, trading her humanity for the ability to transform into a sleek black cat at will. The villagers lived in constant fear of the cat witch woman, for it was said that she had a particular fondness for stealing newborn babies from their cribs. Every full moon, when the night was darkest, she would shed her human skin and take on the form of a feline predator, creeping silently through the village in search of her next victim. Drawn by a twisted desire for vengeance and control, Aisha began to steal the souls of newborn babies, believing that their innocence and purity held the key to unlocking even greater magical powers. Under the cover of darkness, she would shed her human skin, slipping into the shadows as a feline predator to claim her victims. Consumed by darkness and fueled by the anguish of her past, Aisha vowed to exact a sinister revenge on the villagers who had robbed her of a peaceful childhood and snuffed out her parents' existence. Swearing that no parents would enjoy the happiness of raising newborns, she embarked on a malevolent path. Night after night, she intensified the darkness within her soul by stealing the essence of innocent infants, letting their souls fuel her growing powers. One ominous night, she entered the home of a suspected individual involved in her parents' demise. Witnessing his twin daughters sleeping peacefully in their cribs, Aisha mercilessly ripped their innocent souls from their bodies. As she departed, the anguished screams of their parents echoed through the community, and Aisha, reveling in satisfaction, laughed in the eerie darkness she had become. As the disappearances of the village's infants mounted, fear and suspicion gripped the community. Despite the villagers' best efforts to protect their children, 
the cat which woman always seemed one step ahead. She moved with a stealth and cunning that made her virtually impossible to catch. Mothers clutched their children close, fathers patrolled the streets with weapons, but still, the cat which woman eluded them with her cunning and magic. It was then that a wise woman, known for her knowledge of ancient lore and protective charms, devised a plan to ensnare the cat which woman and put an end to her reign of terror. Drawing upon the wisdom of her ancestors, she crafted a mixture of salt and herbs believed to bind a shapeshifter in their animal form, rendering them powerless to change back. As the full moon rose high in the sky and the villagers huddled in fear behind locked doors, the cat which woman made her move. She slinked through the shadows, her eyes gleaming with malice as she approached a humble cottage where a newborn baby lay sleeping. But as she reached out a clawed hand to snatch the child, the wise woman's trap sprang into action. The cat which woman's skin began to tingle and burn as the salty mixture touched her, and with a howl of rage, she found herself unable to transform back into her human form. Aisha found herself trapped in her feline form, her human skin salted and rendered useless by the potent mixture. The salt prevented the cat which woman from returning to her skin by disrupting the magic that allowed her to shift between forms, leaving her stranded in her cat guise. Unable to reclaim her human shape, Aisha was captured and imprisoned, her powers neutralized by the wise woman's clever trickery. As the sun rose over the village, the extent of the cat which woman's crimes became clear. Dozens of babies' souls had been stolen, their families left bereft and broken by the loss. Aisha had lived alone in a hidden cave deep in the mountains, surrounded by the echoes of her dark deeds and the remnants of her twisted magic. In the aftermath of the cat which woman's capture, the village struggled to come to terms with the trauma and fear that had gripped them for so long. They held ceremonies of healing and remembrance for the lost children, seeking solace and strength in their shared grief. Though the memory of the cat which woman lingered like a shadow over the village, the wise woman's courage and ingenuity had shown them that even the darkest of threats could be overcome with unity and cunning. And so, the villagers vowed to stand together, watchful and vigilant, against any new dangers that might come their way. The story highlights the tragic transformation of Aisha from a once good-hearted girl to a vengeful force of evil, fueled by the cruelty and rejection she faced from the very villagers she sought to help. Her descent into darkness becomes a cautionary tale about the consequences of mistreatment and ostracization. The villagers' initial rejection of Aisha fueled a cycle of wickedness that ultimately required intervention to stop, underscoring the destructive impact of societal cruelty on individuals. Reflect on the tale of Aisha and consider the profound impact of how society's treatment can shape individuals. Let it serve as a reminder to foster kindness, empathy, and inclusion in our communities. Take a stand against cruelty and exclusion, working towards creating environments where understanding and support can prevent the tragic outcomes witnessed in Aisha's story. Did you enjoy this story? If you did, like this video, subscribe to the channel, and turn on the notification bell. Thank you for supporting this channel, your support means a lot. Stay tuned for more amazing stories.